there's just another thing I'd like to add into this section. It's more, um, and you'll see this starting to crop up in different sections anyway. But I think it's about like learning to keep our poi um, so we start moving. So for example, facing for me to the camera is what I would call my on beat. Going to the corner is my off beat. On beat, off beat, on beat, off beat, on beat, because it's on my hips, off beat to the corner, on beat the same. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, and back to the beginning. So there's eight sections. So whatever you're doing, whether you're doing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, three, four, round in the cape. And then I'm going to alternate and do the same. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, 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 and one, two, three, four. So the nice thing about the cape is we've got these areas we can work, so we can go. I'm going to go back into forward, so one, two, three. I'm just going to change it to backwards again, four. Five, six. Always go clockwise and anti so you don't end up lopsided because otherwise we're always going to go one way. So make sure you do forwards and backwards and clockwise and anti. So it might be you go round and backwards and stop. So again, these rolling up and down is getting us more strength than every time we practice. So let's have a look at that from an inside point of view. It's really good at teaching you your angles as well because you're having to adjust your hands, your body and your poi to bring this round in this cake formation. There's eight stops. So I'm going to go around in clockwise and forwards and then I'm going to come round backwards in um, anti-clockwise. So again, don't forget you can roll this up and down. This makes a much more of a dramatic movement anyway. So I'm coming to here and I'm coming back into backwards and I'm doing the same. I'm going to move these up and down because it's really good training for the arms and the wrist. It might be you get clunked a few times, but don't worry. And up, down, up, down. So how's this going to work in something like a butterfly angel bird? Well, you can again use each section. So I'm going to come back into four. I'm going to go butterfly, angel, bird, turn. So you can see there's a bit of effort that has to go into that. Butterfly, angel, bird. On, straight one, two, three. Sort the poi out. Give yourselves time to sort the poi out. All throw them. Don't always get it right. Okay, let's just change that to something else. Splits. So how does it feel moving around with split times happening? Or keep this moving. So whatever you're doing, whatever move in poi right now, we're making sure we can do this at different angles, at different ways, and moving around. And having to adjust my poi and around to make this happen. Have a go, see you in section three.